Well, as I've said in the past, I grew up in the PLC world where we program these things to control machines. Now we're collecting data out of them. And as Bill explained earlier, the PLC can send the data to a PC. And on the PC sits a piece of software like DataWorks. It takes the information you're sending it and puts it into a database of some sort. The problem I got is I don't understand this. PLCs don't send information to PCs in my world where I came from. So it makes sense to me what you're trying to do, Bill, but how do we do it? How do we actually send the data to a PL, to, from a PLC to a PC? How do we do that? Uh, good question, uh, Doug. Basically, in the PLC ladder logic, you have to create a, a rung of logic using the WX instruction, and you've got to activate that rung. And the best way to do that is either through a rising edge or through a one-shot, because if you don't put a one-shot or rising edge in there, it'll keep sending data constantly every time that rung runs. Every scan. Every scan, and it ca can cause a lot of uh, data to be stored at one time. So let's look at the actual WX instruction in more detail now. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's take a look at how you create a WX instruction in the ladder logic to send data to DataWorks. Uh, one easy way to, to know how to build this statement is that actually DataWorks in the configuration environment will actually show you um, most of the ladder code you need to create, but just basically just one rung. But let's open up the monitor of DataWorks and you can see we got the monitor here and we'll connect and we'll configure the configuration and we're going to move this out of the way and we can click on this ladder button right here which actually show us what the ladder logic needs to look like so click on that and it'll bring up um, a window here that shows us what the WX instruction will look like and what the RX instruction would look like so we'll just move it off to the side use it as a reference and in here we'll go ahead and create a rising edge we'll use C0, it could be an, could be an input, it could be X1 uh, it could be an output, but we'll just use an internal bit C0 and then we're going to want to do a, a load box and we want to do a load now this is um, a number, this is going to be the um, of load K and then the first number X is going to be what slot the ECOM is in. I believe it's in slot 1 uh, and 90 is what you always use. And to just verify what slot it's in, let's go up here to tools, I'm, I'm sorry, to PLC and configure IO and it'll show us, it'll populate this list and we'll see that slot 1 is definitely the ECOM module. So we know that that first block needs to be a load K190 so it's the first slot that's where the ECOM's at and we'll go ahead and put another block down here and we'll do a load and this is going to be how many uh, bytes of data that we're going to send. Uh, we're going to send um, just one word it's going to be two bytes but there's some setup words you have to send so it would be 32, 32 plus the number of bytes so in this case we're going to send just one word so it's going to be a load K34 so we'll do a K34 now if you were to send two words it would be a load K36 um, and you can see here that the DataWorks will actually show you what it is based on how many uh, data values that you've selected. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a load and you got to choose some memory uh, to specify the IP address and the MAC address of the PC of where the DataWorks is running. So normally we'll just use uh, um, out 2000 and that's what we're showing right here is out 2000 
And so we'll do a load LDA. And we'll do an out 2000. And the last thing you need to do is actually activate the WX instruction. And we'll go ahead and, and add the WX instruction. Now I'm just going to use TA, uh, timer zero. That's just a holding place, that's not important. Uh, just anything and then we'll do. Uh, we're just going to use TA zero, but it can be really anything. Um, so you can see there's the rung of logic. So whenever the rising edge C0 gets turned on, it's going to load a K190, and then it's going to load a K34, which is the number of bytes that we have, and then it's going to uh, load out um, out 2000 and activate the WX instruction. Uh, so we look at our little helper window. You can say that it's, it shows a load KX90, and the X is just what slot that the ECOM is in, the number of bytes that we're going to send, which is K34, which I'll show you just in a minute, and the load out 2000. So if we close our little helper window, go back to our configuration, DataWorks configuration, um, there's 34 total bytes um, that we need to do for the K34. So it's th 32 setup bytes plus 2 uh, bytes to send out. Uh, we'll show you in the next video where these values come from and why we use certain values. Uh, so we'll look at the next video on how do you configure the DataWorks, um, the DataWorks configuration next.